morning everybody we're in Davidson Saskatchewan Western Canada and we're headed home today we're about eight hours from our yard a couple hours after that I'll be home which means I'll be home this evening probably home for a couple days after that so I want to be home a little earlier but it is what it is what you gonna do let's go take a look at the load and make sure it's still there Awesome. Wintry morning out here. Thanks. My tarps are still there. My old tire's still there. I'm bringing that back, getting my money back for that thing. And my load is out here. All nicely tied down. Beautiful. No one stole it. Nice. Anybody want any Doritos? I think this guy might have a few bags with him. Let's see if the trailer is still connected. I have checked it. We'll just double check it. Yank on the trail brake just a little bit. Oh yeah, I am connected. Definitely connected. Trailer's not going to fall off. Trailer brakes have engaged. Trailer brakes have disengaged. I'm gonna go this way a little bit so I can see my, my tires are turning since it's cold. I wanna make sure your brakes haven't seized or frozen up, sorry. This way a little bit. I wanna make sure all my trailer tires are turning, and they are. In winter time, uh, after a long day of driving, your brakes can be a little warm and have condensation on them when you park. And if you pull your trailer brakes too soon, that condensation all freezes and it actually freezes your brakes to the drum. You don't want to do that. And when that happens, if you don't notice it, one of your axles or one of your uh, wheels could be frozen and dragging on the pavement, which creates a big flat spot on the tires. And then uh, not only is it being hard on the trailer, but you'll probably have to replace those tires too, and that can get expensive. We're just turning onto Highway 11 here. Uh, we're gonna turn right and we're gonna go down south towards Regina and then west. Pardon me, east. It's too early. East towards home sweet home Manitoba, southern Manitoba. The best part of Manitoba. Regina now. Just a few minutes away, probably about 10 minutes away from the Flying J at Balgoni. I don't think we're going to stop there today though. So I had my coffee this morning, right? I don't quite need one just yet. I'm feeling great today though. It's been a good day. This is the uh, refinery. Familiar Regina refinery. Okay, oh, so you want to turn. Okay, that's what your signals are. At least he's using his turn signal, so I know what he's doing, right? I know what you're doing. Excuse me. 
Thank you. Turn signals are amazing inventions. So many people have not discovered them yet. We need to have like a, a, a turn signal awareness day. It should be like a holiday where we celebrate the use of turn signals. We can decorate like Christmas. Maybe then people will use them properly like that last guy did. At about six hours and we'll be, oh, we'll be at the yard then. So that will bring us to about six o'clock, 6 p.m. I wanted to be home before Britt got back from work. She works till 4.30 today, so that didn't happen. At least I get the evening at home today, two full days and most of Saturday. So there are some home time videos coming, I guess. Heads up. Because whenever I, I don't give you guys a heads up, there's always like one or two people in the comments section. You've been at home forever! Get back to trucking! I'm not allowed to have home time apparently, according to some people. <laughs> I'm actually very lucky because where I live is right dead center in the middle of most of my routes so I get to stop by home quite often so I'm always going right past home back and forth and back and forth that's sort of why Winnipeg and southern Manitoba is the trucking hub for the most part especially for Western Canada a lot of the freight moves through there and all we got to do is get the people in charge of the road systems in Manitoba to understand this that they take those traffic lights down they've gotten quite a bit of snow out here in the past day or two I missed that whole thing wow there wasn't this the snow wasn't here on our way out west was it we're in southeast Saskatchewan right now just went around Wolseley I think that was Wolseley so we've got a little ways to go yet about an hour east of Regina. It's that time of year again, though. I have a feeling this year there's going to be a lot of snow. Uh, with all the rain we've had this fall, uh, I think it's just going to turn into snow and we're just going to be buried under a thick blanket of snow all winter. Which I'm fine with, as long as we can keep it off the roads, you know? Maybe it won't be as cold then, you know, if we get lots of snow, maybe we at least won't get the, the deep freeze, you know? What do they call it? The polar vortex. They got to make it sound like the end of the world every winter when it comes, comes down from the Hudson's Bay, right? They all act like, oh my, the world is ending. Look at how cold it's getting. Yeah, it got just as cold last winter, even colder the winter before. I know it drives Brent crazy. <laughs> Drives are crazy how people freak out over winter every year. Or, or in summertime, how everyone freaks over how hot it gets. It's, it happens every year. Drives are crazy how people freak out over winter every year. Or, or in summertime, how everyone freaks over how hot it gets. It's, it happens every year. Whoop! And that's where we're at. Got a little editor helper here. He's been very helpful, very helpful, poking my leg all the time whenever I make a mistake, which has been every two seconds. Yep, thank you very much, Wiener. Thank you very much. So the whole family's here, except for Brett. Brett's at work, that's why I'm getting my editing done. We got the, the golden boy, the Chevster, right? <laughs> we got the diesel, the weasel, the diesel weasel, Oh, look at him. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. He's doing my bow. Thank you for watching me. You're so awkward, Diesel. We got Big Frank over here. Hey, say hi to everybody. Hi, y'all. I'm going back to bed. All right. Cool. So, Britt's at work right now. I'm getting the rest of my editing done. I just got to finish this clip, and I'm all caught up. That's all I've got to do. I've edited uh, five vlogs today. So the last five vlogs over the last five days that you watched, I edited right here just now. <laughs> so my videos are usually about a week behind.
Uh, that's just to give me time to get everything done because when I'm on the road, I don't always have time to edit videos every night. Sometimes you just got to get her done and get the freight delivered, right? Everybody wants their freight yesterday. So we get that done and then I come home and then while Brett's at work, I do this and I catch up. It feels good right now. All I got to do is add this clip in there, which you're watching right now. I just got to add that and then I'm done. That's it. And then I don't know what we're going to do. Yesterday when I was walking the dogs at night out here, I heard something moving around in the bush over there. It sounded big. And uh, last time I was at home, I was doing laps around our yard, just going for a, a little bit of a nature hike, trying to get my, my, my belly to go down a little bit. But anyway, I, was, I walked about six kilometers or five, four, four and a half miles, uh, just going around the property. And uh, I saw some droppings over there that were not dog droppings, that were not deer droppings, that were not beaver droppings. But they didn't look like bear droppings either, or coyote or wolf dropping. I don't know what it was. I researched it a little bit, but I only want to spend so much time researching poop. So uh, maybe if it's still there, I'll, I'll ask you guys what it looks like to you. You hunter outdoorsmen. I've never seen it before, so uh, it could have been dog. It could have been one of our dogs, but they must have been a little sick that day. I don't know. That's enough talking about that. You guys get the point. I don't know what it was, but something was out there. And last night, I heard something big moving around out there. I was standing right in front of the house right here. Right here. And uh, the dogs were all perked up and looking at the bush over there, right? Diesel was, uh, Diesel was over here. Chevy was over here. And they both had their ears just perked straight up and just hair standing up and looking at the bush over there. And then I heard, like, something moving in there. Something bigger than a deer. Seen a couple of deer walk through our yard this morning already, and they don't make a lot of noise when they slowly saunter through the bush, but this was like a, like something with, it sounded like bear paws or something. Hopefully not. It could have just been my imagination, but the dogs heard, heard it too. So I'm gonna go out there and check, see if I can see some footprints or anything. See where it goes to, and if, if it was a bear, well, we're gonna have to uh, take care of that. I have to go track it down to find it before it tracks me down and finds me. Or worse, one of these guys, right? Anyways, thanks for watching my vlogs, guys. I appreciate it. I make new vlogs pretty much every day. Uh, when I'm at home, I don't always film, uh, but that's because I'm spending time with family and somebody's wanting to get a hold of me right now. They can wait, it's okay. I'm talking to you fine people. You guys are important too. But yeah, I make a new video most times when I'm on the road. Other times we go exploring out in our woods when I'm at home. But I appreciate it. Hit that thumbs up button if you thought the video was good. If you thought it was bad, give it the thumbs down. If you thought it was good, share it with your friends so they can enjoy it too. If you thought it was bad, share it with your friends so that they can see how bad it is too. And we all win, all right? It's a win-win. I'll see you guys tomorrow.